Like, all right, I'm down here uh, with current student Seth, and uh, we're gonna part of systems look at the water maker. But you know, I love boats, and so I want to know a little bit about the story of how you heard about the program and this boat. Yeah, so. sure. Um, so my name's Seth, and um, I really like adventures. And about ten years ago, I took some uh, dinging classes and kind of fell in love with sailing and it took a while but uh, eventually I did some informal classes with keel boats and um, really got the bug about a year and a half ago and ended up buying this uh, 34 foot Janot Melody. It's the oldest Janot in North America I'm told and um, I, I looked for a long time and I debated buying a real bare bones boat. Um, I was looking in the $5,000 range and, um, and even though I was interested in researching and installing the systems that I would want, especially radar and AIS and stuff, which I only had a vague awareness about, but I knew I wanted them because I was thinking blue water. Um, I knew it would be a huge time investment and, um, and a huge cost too. But I kept looking and my price range kept going up a little bit. And uh, eventually I ended up on this, which was about six times my original budget. <laughs> But um, it's, it's, I'm the fourth owner. The first owners were from France and they sailed it across the Atlantic. Second set of owners owned it for about 15 years uh, until 2014, I think, as a married couple who were mechanical engineers. They lived on it in, um, in the Caribbean and they did a lot of upgrades. They put um, this water maker in, they upgraded this to Raymarine E120, which is now a bit outdated. But uh, I think back in the day, it was pretty, pretty top of the line and um, compact uh, diaform rigging and uh, life raft, uh, wind vane. Um, it's pretty, pretty rigged out for blue water sailing, even though I had already done that, they kind of upped the game, I think. And uh, uh, the third owner was a mechanical, sorry, a naval architect right here in town, Mike Bancraft, and he sold it to me and helped teach me and still answers the phone when I call him um, and ask questions. He's a great guy. And uh, last summer I was driving um, and I was listening to the podcast on the wind and happened to catch this one where um, Andy was interviewing uh, Mike uh, about this program and it just sounded really, really good. I looked a little bit at like uh, wooden boat building programs, but I didn't want a wooden boat. and. Uh, and this was exactly what I was interested in. And, and I just kind of wrote it off because I didn't, I just assumed it was far away. And then I realized it was in Anacortes and I was just two hours down the road. So um, came up a week or two later, talked with Mike and then, and then became a student right after that. So, uh, so I'm really excited and to learn about this kind of stuff in class and be able to come home and, and work on, on the boat. I'm living on it. And, um, and to bring my questions that I, I discover into class. And uh, it's, it's working out really well. There's still a lot I need to learn and fix and improve on. And after next year, I hope to, to really set sail and, and be self-sufficient and know what to do when it goes south or something goes <laughs> south uh, in the middle of the ocean. Um, and also as a backup career, so. Yeah, uh, and this water maker, I knew it had a water maker when I bought it. I was vaguely aware it was a, a good, that Spectra was a, a common name, but I didn't price it out. I just assumed in my head I had saved a few thousand um, dollars in the hassle of selecting one and installing it. But um, sounds like it's a pretty good one. And I know Mike had, has talked to me about how it needs to be pickled. Sorry, Mike, the former owner. And, and that he had pickled it um, and he had offered to come down sometime and walk through it. But I'm, I'm really excited to have uh, Mike Beamer here who, who has lived and breathed these things in the past and teaches them to, to, to be here and to walk through it with me. And yeah, so. Awesome. Well, let's, uh, we'll take a quick peek down below and then we're gonna sort out this water maker. Yeah, great. So, yeah. Okay, so what do you have over where the that used to be the chart table? This used to be the chart table. You could sit here, and then in front up here was a settee, just like on the port side. But the second set of owners put all this cabinetry in, and um, actually, there's a set of cushions that would go up here, and so someone could sleep here. They're lee cloths, 
that attach, but you know, it'd be a pretty funny space. Uh, I use it as a stand-up desk. Um, in the long run, I'd like to pull all of this out and restore it to, you know, what's on the port side and what used to be over here. But they're compressors for the fridge and freezer, which now occupy where the chart table are. They're all forward. So um, I'm so, thinking. So it has air conditioning and refrigerator and freezer. Yeah, and they're all interlinked. It's Glacier Bay. I think it's about 12, 14 years old. I've got all the paperwork on it. They run off DC, but they're they're super energy hogs. When the cycle compressor goes up, I can just see it pulling 30, 40 amps. Um, so yeah, I'm hoping to learn from the program how to upgrade, replace, so I can run off lithium. Um, maybe maybe putting some more efficient stuff over there where the original ice boxes and stuff. There are two ice boxes there under the clean dishes. Um, and then I'd like to get this back to a chart table and this back to a settee. My uncle said, don't do anything for a year. Like, don't rip it all out and change it. See if you like it. They did it this way for a reason. Right, right. That's uh, good advice. Yeah. yeah and, you know, I got plenty to learn in the program. So, um, but I really, I like that social aspect of, you know, being able to sit on two different sides and talk to each mm -hmm. other and put the table back. There used to be a table here and the leg for the table went right there. I've got pictures in the original owner manual and stuff all in French. Um, so some of the plans and, uh, there's a lot of old, old electronic stuff in here. Like this SSB isn't that necessarily old but there's a packar modem that i don't think are commonly used quite as much anymore and um the whole electronic system is probably 10 15 years old and it's a nema 183 instead of mm -hmm. 2000. so you're in jennifer's electronics class so yeah. now you start to learn about building yourself a backbone yeah. and doing some upgrades yeah yeah totally. fantastic yeah i mean i've got i've got an rj45 and a usb coming right out of here and i don't know how to tap into this data stream off the ray marine system and so i'm looking forward to learning about that and hopefully about upgrading it so awesome yeah, yeah. okay and so you all right part of systems class we want to check out the water maker today yeah. right yeah okay let's go take a look at it 